Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my last name is Drayton. Or oh, welcome if you're new. And today's topic is about vision boards. Now, I usually don't start my vision board until like after the new year because with all the holidays like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. And if you guys have been following me anywhere on my social media, you know I have been traveling mostly around those holidays. You know, I really don't have time to sit and plan about what I want to do for the New Year's, new things I would like to achieve or just start to achieve for the New Year's or difficult things that I want to get a head start on for the New Year. So I personally take the whole month of January and really sit down and write and plan how I want to achieve and, you know, even start to with these goals in the next year. Now, as I said on my TikTok, um, if you're not following me on any of my social media, they'll be in the link down below. But as I said on my TikTok, your vision board should majority focus on you because I know that we are spouses, we are parents, and we have very strong obligations to like jobs, you know, family and um, friends, but your vision board should mainly focus on you getting yourself together and yourself being better. Because if you're not okay, the things that depend on you will not be okay. So let's focus on yourself by bettering yourself and taking care of yourself. It's not selfish, it's not, you know, anything negative. It's just that, hey, I need to be okay for my family or friends or a job that, you know, and CEOs, whatever your business needs, it's okay. So now once you start thinking about your vision board, think about like, you know, 10 things, 10 things you always want to do, 10 things you always want to achieve, um, 10 things that you, you know, know that's gonna be very difficult, but you want to at least just try and write them down in the list. Now, once you have your 10 things, you're gonna separate them into three categories. And that's gonna be three majors, three mediums, and four minors. Now, you're gonna look at your list and put them all down in that category. And I'm gonna share off of my list on um, the things that are difficult for me, my majors, my mediums, and my minors. And you can take from my um, list to grasp inspirations or the plans that I have for each one of them. All right, so let's get started. Now with um, my three majors are saving money, start my business, and keep my space and house organized, or excuse me, apartment organized. And before we, you know, start to, you know, think about like, oh, hey, you know, this is easy. What's easy for someone else is difficult for someone else and vice versa. What is difficult for you could be easy for someone else. So I want us to not think about what could be easy or what's the norm for everyone that's easy for them and just focus on what's hard for you and what's easy for you. Because remember, we're focusing on ourselves. So with each idea that you would like to do, you need to have a plan. You just can't jump into anything willy nilly thinking that you're going to get started and it's gonna happen. No, it's not realistic. So with each idea, have a plan and also know what the root cause of why this is difficult for you to achieve. Case in point, with saving money. I know that's something that's very difficult for me, but for a long time, I didn't know why until I really dig down deep in myself and try to really look at myself like, okay, ask question, why, why? And I think back on why. And when it comes down to saving money, yeah, I was told, just like everybody else, we were told to save money money you know save your money for a rainy day don't put all your eggs in one basket you know save it you save it save it but never really taught how to save you know never really was shown how to save and my parents you know they were big spenders they really were after their bills were paid or anything like that and if they when they saved money all i seen was 
designer bags and QVC coming to the door, Amazon coming to the door, new cars, new shoes, new clothes, new electronics, you know, just new, 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 you know, you get a car, you get a car type of thing. And I never seen the saving aspects of it. You know, I never seen them, you know, show me like, hey, this is what I did every month, every paycheck after I paid all my bills. This is how I budget my money. This is how I put my stuff in like as in, okay, these are my bills and this is what it is. And you know, and how stocks and investment, how I did it. They really didn't, you know, they told us, talked about, but they never really showed us and really got into depth about it. So me growing up just seeing, oh, my parents got money. I want to do that when I get older and buy all the things I want to buy and now have a mindset to pay my bills and just spend all the money. You know, every time it's in my account, the money I have to spend over, I'm not saving, I'm buying it. Target, you know, Amazon, wigs, you know, nails, you know, all the other stuff. And it never really, I never really got into the thing of saving. So with this, I know I need extra <laughs> extra and extra help so i got this it's called the 100 envelope saving challenge and i asked for this for christmas because i seen it off of tiktok the original way it was people just you know got envelopes stacks of envelopes and just wrote one dollar two dollar three dollar four dollar you know whatever in between and then it just stuffed money in there every time they get paid but um then it got a little advanced and I seen this and I was just like, I want that because I know I'm gonna need a lot of help when it comes down into saving money. So basically, you know, the challenge is you put $1 each slot, how it goes, as I'm opening it up for you guys, hope it doesn't fall out. But as you can see, you put, you know, money. Now sometimes, hey, coins, coins equals money. Don't feel bad that you have to pull a dollar quarters here that we're not judging here. And you just put it in there and you mark it off every time. So after I, you know, basically calculate all my bills for the month and all the money that I get paid and um, groceries included, and I just, whatever I have left that I know I can just put extra in here, I put it in there. I, you know, and just start saving. And after a while, you're gonna see that you're gonna start saving up money. Now I did get a tip from someone and they was like, oh, start at the bottom. Cause the hundred dollar bills and ninety nine dollars stuff like that, and you work your way up. Um, but do whatever is best for you. These are on Amazon. It's you know twenty dollars, nineteen dollars. TikTok, I know they be having to the sell on it. I know individual sell it will be more expensive, but hey, if you don't have all that money, Amazon, TikTok, or you could just do the regular envelope. Get a stack of envelopes and write one dollar all the way to a hundred, and just save money that way. And what extra step that I do take because I'm taking extra precautions is that I give it to someone that I trust. Take the point my sister. I put the money in there, da da da, here, take it, put it somewhere I can't find it, put it somewhere that I know I'm not gonna see it, and I forget about it. Because I do this thing where I'm like, oh, I tried to save money in the past. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna put it in my um, savings account because you know, that's what it's for. No, I see that money in there transfer right into my regular bank checkings account and just spend the money so no so with this i definitely recommend you getting this if you're having a problem with saving money and once you're done you should be equal to five thousand fifty dollars so that's a quick little tip now we're going to talk to our three medium and i am looking down looking at my list is i want to travel to new places spend an hour doing something productive and go on dates with myself. Now, um, being newly um, single, um, even in past of just being single, I never went on dates with myself. I just thought it wasn't a good thing, you know, and also like growing up, it was basically like shunned upon, if I'm being honest, especially in the black community, because growing up, especially in the 90s or 2000s, it's always my man, my man, I need a man, you need a man type of mentality. You're not a woman um, unless you have a man type of mentality. 
And seeing that, you know, you kind of get like scared into being by yourself or there's something wrong with being alone until you got into my adulthood. There is peace and solitude. You know, there is comfort and solitude also. Um, so just basically not just even waiting on someone to take me out on dates. Getting that confidence to go out and do it myself. Like, I went out recently to the food truck event that they had in my area by myself. Yeah, I know I've seen a lot of lovely couples with their family. And yeah, one day that will happen for me. But I don't want to sit and wait for someone to do it. And I sit and wait out and miss out on life and things that I want to do. So... I am going to talk a little bit more about this in another video about tips on dating yourself, places to go, starting out. It's going to feel weird and discomforting at first, but as you do it and as you get used to it, it's going to feel very nice and very good that you know that it won't feel awkward or you won't have this sense of loneliness weighing on your chest. So. We're going to talk more about that in another video. Now let's get into our four medium. Now my four medium is skating every morning when I'm off, create a morning routine, eat more fruits and vegetables, and work out 20 minutes a day. Now your easy stuff should just be mostly based on you being consistent um, to help you be consistent in other things. So with me um, creating a morning routine, I want you to really think about the time frame of your day. Morning, afternoon, and night. I don't know if majority does work, so that's the middle of our day right there. Sometimes like people work from early in the morning shifts, mid shifts to night shifts. I'm usually more in the mid shift to night shift or afternoon to late night shift. So I plan out my day as, okay, I have the most um, free time in the morning. So I usually take that time out to get up an extra hour or two hours early, stretch my body, you know, write down things, um, pray, read my Bible, set a calming mood, meditate, be quiet, have a calm and peaceful morning before I get up and go into the hustle, the bustle of everyday life. When you're creating your morning routine, start out with something that is simple, that you know that you're going to commit to. Because our name of the game is that we want to be honest with ourselves. We need to start off at the point of where we are, not where we want to be. Where we are, not where we want to be. I know us as humans, we want everything done and fast, we want to get there quickly, but it takes time to get to that level where you want to be. Because one thing you don't want to do is do something that's so difficult that it stretches you out even more and you quit. Because that's what's going to wind up happening. So with your morning routine, like say you want to start off with um, yoga. Don't go into advanced yoga. Don't don't say, okay, I'm going to this super, you know, advanced yoga spot and do hot yoga and knowing that you never did yoga a day in your life. No, start off small. Start off with bedtime yoga 10 minutes a day um, or morning yoga 10 minutes a day. You know, they have it free on YouTube. Start off small so as you progress, you get there and it creates consistency. That's the name of the game with the four minors, consistency. Um, and also, with me working out 20 minutes a day, there's no way I know I'm not finna go run a 20 minute jog up and down the street. I'm gonna quit before I even start. I need to do things that I know that is at my level and I can increase to get to that level. So case in point, I wanna start jogging or I have 20 minutes a day thing, I wanna get to jogging. I know that I need to start walking first. Let's start with walking 20 minutes a day. And then you start speed walking. 
And then you do half jogging, half walking. And then you can get to the jogging. So you have to pace yourself and be consistent at it until you reach that level. And that's the name of the game. So I really do hope you guys take from this list. I really hope that it inspire you to do things. I really hope that it gives you a different mindset on how to achieve these goals. Now, once you have all your goals, everything set out, a plan for each one of them, that's when you're going to like, you know, create your vision board. Whether you do it with pictures, do it with cutting out old magazines, or however you do it digitally, however, that's when you're going to do it and you're going to start to mark off everything that you're going to do for the new year. Now, I want to be honest with you guys. You're not going to get everything off your list and that is fine. If you do, kudos, but majority of us, we're, we're not going to, but that is fine because this is basically to teach yourself, okay, what are you good at and what are you not? What do you need more work on? And what do you don't need more work on? You know, what are your things that you're brave enough to do and the things that are going to take more courage to do? So this way here, basically you're learning yourself. You really are. And some goals you can take it on to the next year, which majority of your majors are going to be. Something that you're going to take into the next year and continue to keep trying it again. So I really hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and describe. Please give each other encouragements and um, give ideas to each other. If you have any plans of doing something, write it in there and you know share how you are planning on to achieve it to give someone else some motivation or ideas to help them achieve their New Year's goal. And I thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you all in the next video. And remember, uh, my last name is Drayton. Bye.